The team, led by Wu Guanjian, a professor at the Institute of Tibetan Plateau Research under the Chinese Academy of Sciences, is among the 13 scientific research teams that have been conducting research around the Mount Chumlama region since the end of April. The 2023 Mount Chumlama Comprehensive Scientific Expedition is part of the second comprehensive scientific expedition to the Qinghai Tibet Plateau initiated in 2017. Wu's research team focuses on the glacial environment and glacial chemistry. By glacial lakes and rivers near the Mount Chumlama base camp, the team has worked for over 20 days since May the first. We are based on the Kyoto Plan. On May 1, we took the water sample from here. We used the data for two years, and we gathered data to collect the data for the water and the water sample. 想综合的去探讨冰川径流对整个流域或者是整个嗯冰川冰冻圈的呃一些的影响。The Qinghai Tibet Plateau, known as the Water Tower of Asia, is the source of over ten major rivers in Asia. The Rombak Glacier, located at the foot of Mount Chumlama at an altitude of 5,300 to 6,300 meters, has been facing the threat of climate change for years. 那今天我们是在这个珠峰脚下，呃，融入冰川末端的这个冰湖进行观测。我们知道大气和湖泊的水体呢，不断的进行气体的交换。我们想知道这个二氧化碳，它主要是从大气进入到这个湖水里面呢，还是从这个湖水里面释放到这个？啊，大气里面。但是我们这次呢，就是对这个径流啊，我们做了一个长期的观测，获得更加准确、更加详细的数据。The Qinghai Tibet Plateau is a region strongly affected by global warming, and rising temperatures are affecting the safety of the Water Tower of Asia and ecological barrier in China. As the most unique geological, geographical, resource and ecological region on Earth. The plateau has been called the natural laboratory by the scientific community, and Mount Chumlama is one of the world's areas of greatest concern. The 2023 Mount Chumlama expedition aims to review the mechanism of environmental change and optimize the ecological security barrier system on the plateau. Scientific research on Mount Chumlama has been consistently carried out with updated equipment and technology.